MK1 has been in our hands now for a few weeks. What are my thoughts? Do I like the game? Do I hate the game? A lot of you guys have been asking. Cage, do a review of MK1. Well, here we go. Here is my honest thoughts on Mortal Kombat 1. So there's going to be two sections of this video, my likes of MK1 and my dislikes. Let's start off on a high note. Let's talk about the things I liked about MK1. Story mode. The story of MK1 is probably hands down my favorite story. Maybe I'm in the honeymoon phase right now and everything's just so great. But the story in MK1 looks amazing. The story is great. And overall, it was like watching a movie. Like the, it was so good. And I can't wait to see what comes after mk1 story nether realm is no rookie at making great stories in their game like i think they're the pioneer of making a story based fighting game or a fighting game with a great story other games start to follow that suit but still i think netherum has the crown of being the best and mk1 is no exception the story was one of the highest things on my list of first things to do when i picked up mk1 and i was not disappointed i actually played through the story like three times now just because of how good it is and i just want to see the different character interactions especially for the end no spoilers check out the let's play but story i give it a thumbs up and that's why it's on my likes Another thing that I loved about the MK1 game is the roster. Probably one of the best rosters in recent MK games. Like MK11's roster, it was all right. MKX was, I felt like it was lacking. MK9 is like the cream of the crop. Like that is an amazing roster. Like every character pretty much is in that game. MK1, I kind of feel like it had that same vibe to it so many great characters so many characters that we haven't seen in so long the 3d era characters are getting so much love in mk1 and guess what they're fun to play too every character that i have tried to learn has been super enjoyable to learn and play online like i've started picking up characters i didn't think i was gonna pick up obviously johnny cage is my boy but i've been learning characters like raiden i never played raiden Raiden's a beast in this game. Scorpion's awesome. Smoke is great. Like every character I've tried is amazing. And don't even get me started. The cameo, at first I was a little worried because it's a brand new mechanic. It could make or break this game. I'm glad to say the cameos make this game so much more fun. The cameos really make the game, in my opinion, a lot more balanced than if there wasn't cameos. There are characters that maybe don't do well in the zoning game, right? You can have sub-zero cameo you can put the ice armor on and they are immune to projectiles cameos really help out the character roster balancing things now obviously there are certain pairings that are a lot more deadly like Barack and cyrax that is a crazy pair but for the most part i feel like the game overall a lot more balanced than previous mk games i've had so much fun learning the characters and learning combos with the cameos it's been a blast like i i find myself streaming the game over my twitch twitch.tv slash on games i play it for like four hours and then afterwards i hop off and play it on my steam deck and learn more combos like i have not done this for a game in so long like usually when i'm playing games i'm streaming it but mk1 i'm like labbing off stream that's how fun it is and when i figure out something with the cameo i'm like oh shoot that's ridiculous that is what i love about learning in mk1 the cameo potentials the combos the pairing of certain characters that you don't think would work like goro and johnny cage you would never think they would work together mk1 you can make it happen so so again the story the roster the gameplay the three major things i love about mk1 now let's talk about the things i don't like about mk1 and brace yourself there's actually a lot more things i don't like about mk1 than i do like about mk1 you guys are probably gonna be like what cage uh, you you love everything about mortal Kombat. you're another realm shill you uh, you just kiss their butt no 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 if i don't like something i'm gonna talk about it there's a lot of things that i dislike about mk1 or more like nitpicks if anything but there's stuff that I don't particularly love. So let's start off with the lack of customization in MK1. MK1, you can change your gear for your character, but you can only change one piece of gear for every character. In MK11, you could change like three. So going from three character gear customization to one feels like a huge step back. And some of the gear that you can change in MK1 
are so little and so like hard to tell there's no point of changing your gear for example kenshi's sword you can't even tell when you change it like it's so hard to see and if you think the sword is hard to see melina's size are her only gear change customizable item good luck seeing that but that's the only thing you can change in mk1 you get one gear that you can change and then i find myself not even changing some of the gear because either a it's pointless and you can't see it or two it just looks weird with the overall skin which each character has sets amount of skins in the game the next thing i didn't really like about mk1 is the shrine oh my god at the time of this recording the shrine animation takes so long to do you spend a thousand coins it puts your coins into this bucket and then the dragon breathes fire it melts it and then it like explodes and it takes a couple seconds and it shows you your reward and nine times out of ten it's concept art all right i'm trying to get gear i'm trying to get skins color palettes but i'm getting concept art that's cool and all but when the animation takes like a minute and you get concept art and you can only spend a thousand coins you have to do it several times and that takes up like an hour i hope down the line maybe when i upload this they already updated it but nether realm makes a feature where you can like put x amount of coins in so instead of the default 1000 you can put in like 10,000, and it gives you like 10 reward pop-ups instead of the one and then doing it again and again and again because i saved up like what a hundred thousand coins or something and i found myself sitting on stream wasting time spending 1000 every minute and getting concept art over and over and over again and then i get one color skin color palette and it's like sub zeros a uh, uh, different color blue it's like a, a shade darker like come on man really an easy way to make the shrine better one maybe make the drop rates for skins and palette colors uh, a lot more frequent maybe like out of five drops maybe three of them can be concept art and then it could be skins and gear in between so like you get a skin concept art concept art skin gear concept art you know like that but it seems like when i do it concept art concept art concept art blah, blah, blah. And then I get a gear. Like, come on. Make the animation faster. Let us spend more than 1,000. And please, please speed up the animation. It takes too long. <sighs> Invasion. Ooh, the brand new mode in MK1. The mode that all of us thought that was going to be the next conquest mode. Crypt 2.0. I am sad to say it is <laughs> none of that. Invasion, in my opinion, is kind of boring. Now, invasion, they make it like you're on a board, like a like a monopoly style board, a board game. You get to move your character in a very like linear fashion and you fight random opponents and you get millions and millions of amulets that you don't use. Like I don't know about you guys, but I have found myself discarding amulets every single fight cuz they keep giving to me and I don't use it. Like what? Also, leveling up in invasion takes 4 ever even with the xp trick that we did it still takes a long time i can only imagine if someone didn't do the xp level up like trick they would be there forever still working on maxing out their one character the fights are not fun the map is cool like you get to explore the round but i feel like if they remove the board game look and let us roam around like how we did in mk11 crypt oh my god invasion would be so much more enjoyable but seeing as the camera moves in certain you know positions of your character moving around the board it gets very confusing also the game doesn't give you like a mini map so i find myself lost half the time i'm like have i been here already no maybe it's very confusing so long story long not a huge fan of invasion i was really excited for it the concept is really cool but i just find it like we're doing busy work and the reward that we get for the busy work isn't that great yes we get some cool skins but like it's doing 50 fights of nothing and then you get one skin you know at least make the fights fun my suggestion is they could have done the 300 challenge tower in mk9 where each tower was a different mini game or different stipulation or something like each spot that you land on in the invasion map could have been oh this is challenge number one challenge number two you know you keep going you do different challenges that would have been a lot more enjoyable but no it seems like you're fighting the same people over and over sometimes there's a really annoying modifier that happens and then 
Also, the ambush feature is the dumbest thing ever. You're walking and you accidentally walk backwards and then you get ambushed and you just fight three dudes. I feel like it's pointless. It's <laughs> it's so pointless. Also, the secret fights in previous games, when you get a secret fight, it's like, oh, you did something cool. You did something special to unlock this secret fight. Invasion, it seems like if you just punch your opponent, you get a secret fight and you don't really get any cool rewards after. You don't even get to level up that much. Overall, Invasion, if I had the keys to the invasion kingdom i would say make invasion more fun by having each spot being something unique a different mini game uh something like the 300 challenge tower mk9 or shout out to my buddy unruly he came up with this idea make invasion mode online and have it like mario party but with mk characters that would be way more enjoyable you already got the board game look add a couple more characters roll a dice and move your characters around like how fun would that be and nether realm has already done mini games in the past or you know midway but you know we got chess combat we got motor combat they have done mini games in the past make a couple more mortal combat party yes that would save invasion that would be so sick and if they're not doing any of that remove the board game and let's walk around freely and make it crypt 2.0 please all right bring conquest i don't know but invasion i just feel like it's a lot of busy work for not as good of rewards the next thing that i don't like is cross play is not in mk1 now they have said cross play is coming to mk1 which is great but I would have liked if crossplay was already in the game. It's kind of a bummer that it's not here yet and we have to wait a little bit. And also, you can't even make like rooms or join rooms in MK11. You can join uh, a bunch of rooms with a lot of players in it like oh join the graveyard crossplay room if you guys want to fight me and people would join and send me invites like that that was cool that was easy to play with your fans play with your friends but now they don't have that could they be adding it soon yes but as of right now of this recording we don't have crossplay and we don't have rooms that people can just join in and fight you it's the little things man kind of a bummer no crossplay that's a negative for mk1 another negative that i absolutely despise is we don't have a wi-fi filter when i'm playing combat league and i'm fighting someone that's playing on wi-fi and their ping is like 200 and i can't decline i lose years off my life from how annoying the match is like it is like i'm playing with maple syrup all over my hands like it's it's so bad it's a horrible experience. I'm in the matrix and you can't decline it. Why can't we have a Wi-Fi filter? If there's a Wi-Fi player that pops up, you should be able to say, no, I don't want to fight this. Or you should be able to filter out and only get matched up with the wired players. Now, I understand that maybe they don't have a decline or a Wi-Fi filter because they don't have crossplay yet. So if you did a Wi-Fi filter, it would lower the player base even more. Maybe when they add crossplay and you can fight everyone from PlayStation, Xbox, then having a filter would make it more reasonable. But adding a filter now maybe would hurt the player base online and making finding matches a lot more difficult. But still, I love the online experience for MK1. Gameplay is awesome. But when I am constantly looking at a slideshow of images it ruins the experience it honestly makes the experience so much worse so i'm hoping when they add crossplay, maybe a wi-fi filter would be amazing i know this game was announced and released pretty quick but i feel like it wouldn't hurt the game if they pushed it back a couple months and made invasion more fun made uh, us have the ability for more gear have crossplay ready for release like even the intros in the game i feel like don't hit the same i am a huge fan of the three intro dialogues character a says something clever character b says their rebuttal and then character a again does the final nail in the coffin the the, the punch line for the interaction but in mk1 you have character a your mom sucks and then character b how do you know that you know like <laughs> that that's it you know that like it, it feels like it doesn't have as much of a oomph to the intros it doesn't have as much personality uh compared to mk11 or uh heck even like injustice i feel like had a better like intro than than mk1 oh also quality of life you can't pin moves in training in practice mode you can't pin your moves anymore so like your combo that you're trying to learn you can usually pin it 
and it'll pop up in the screen and then you can do it. MK1, you can't pin moves. Why, why is that not a thing in MK1? Hello? To wrap it up, MK1 has great bones. It has a great structure, the gameplay, Roster story is amazing. If you're an old time MK fan, you're gonna love MK1. If you're a newcomer, super fun, super easy to pick up. But the game is lacking meat. It's missing some key features that was in previous MK games that I feel like if they were in MK1, this game would be so much higher in my rating, but because they're missing simple things like cross play on launch, they're missing the create a room, join a room, uh, one gear piece, intros and outros not really being a thing in this. A lot of simple things will affect the score of MK1. And with all that being said, I still love MK1. I love playing it every single day. There hasn't been a day that I've not played MK1, but I wish there was more into the game. And I feel like if they delayed the game a month or two, it would have helped a lot. With that being said, on a scale of 1 to 10, on what I think about MK1, 1 meaning not great, 10 meaning the best, I'll give MK1 a solid 8 out of 10. It's still an amazing game, and I'm loving it, but I feel like it's missing stuff. And I hope that Netherrealm adds an update and fixes a lot of this stuff because a lot of this stuff that I said I don't like are fixable. When I do these honest review videos, I want to give you guys what I truly think about the game. I know some of you guys are like, Cage, you never say anything bad. I, I don't know where you get that because when I don't like something, I say it. And clearly in this video, there are so many things that could be fixed. Hope you guys enjoyed my honest thoughts on MK1. Let me know what you guys think about the game down below. What things would you guys like to see change or added or fixed? Like the video, subscribe, and ring the bell icon so you guys get notified every time we upload a brand new video. My name is on Cage Games, and you just got Cage.